Watch, in this video today, I'm gonna share with you the power on the psychology of having time off in the business. One of the mistakes that I've made in my career, and I still make it today sometimes, I get over obsessed with what I'm doing, especially when it's solving a specific problem, and I'm frustrated. But when I'm frustrated, and I keep trying to solve the problem from that space, guess what? I'm not in a great emotional state to get the right answers or take the right actions. So especially when my business is ebbing, especially when I'm getting challenged, I create space to feel good and always feel better. I had a mentor once say to me, when is going bad, I'll go on vacation. Because when I go on vacation, I get out of my head and I start breathing and I start getting inside and it's our roots that determine our fruits. So that's what I do. I always find time to create space. In the winter, guess what I do? I ski four days a week. When the day's going crappy, I'll clear my schedule and I'll go skiing because it raises my vibration, allows me to feel better. And when I feel better, guess what? I start having conversations. I start setting up appointments. I start negotiating deals. I start putting opportunities together because I feel in a better vibrational state. So some of the ways I do that is every day, for the most part, I have a morning routine. Now, my routine is very simple some days where all I do is breathe and meditate for 15 minutes, but I do that every single day. Some days it's longer. Today, I went on an hour walk after I did breath meditation for 30 minutes and then I wrote my journal. But it's not the same every day and you don't need to do the same thing every day, but you need to be consistent with creating space where you're working on your inner world root system. The second thing that I do, I schedule ahead of time things I wanna do. So for example, coming up July 24th through the 26th, I wanna go watch Wrexham play Manchester United. So it's on my calendar, it's already booked, it's already ready to go, and it's something I look forward to go doing. I'll do smaller versions as well, because like uh, I'll, I'll schedule in advance for the weekend a reservation at one of my favorite restaurants, so I look forward to doing something. But I'm creating that space so that I'm not working all the time. There's a really great book called The Net and the Butterfly, and it talks about the focus mind or the executive mind and the wandering and the meandering mind. Today's infopreneurs are getting stuck in this concept that they want the location freedom, they want the money freedom, and that they have to hustle and grind in order to make it happen. But it's our behaviors that create the permanency. What we practice becomes permanent. So if you're practicing working all the freaking time, you're actually not gonna get all your problems solved. What research shows in that book, that the biggest problems get solved through what are called eureka moments. And that's where you're in the wandering or meandering mind. That's where you're actually not trying to solve the problem. You're letting the mind relax. For example, in the shower, I have some of my best ideas. And I bet if you take a long, hot shower, it feels really good because you're releasing and letting go of attachment and it creates, oh, I should do that. All the time when I'm meditating, I'll have a thought come up and be like, boom, that's what I need to run with. This is called the Eureka moment and it happens through meandering or wandering mind. And you're only gonna do that by creating space to let go and not be attached to the outcome. In fact, I'm going through this exact thing in my business right now. It's not something that you'll ever be able to escape. So going forward, create space to create and it will be amazing what you can do when you're having time off from not trying to solve the problem. Thanks for watching. Click the like button down below and I'd love to hear your comments. Make sure you share this with other people so that they can see the power of solving their problems by not trying to solve their problems. We'll see you soon. Look, I wanna say thanks for watching my video and I know that this isn't for everyone, but it is for certain people that are ready to make big changes, like they're ready to create residual revenue, they're ready to become real business owners, they're ready to have a business that makes money even when they're not working. And if that's you, I want you to click the link down in the description and I want to give you an opportunity to have what's called a triage discovery call. We're gonna meet with my head coach and learn where you're stuck in your business and what changes you gotta make so that you don't have to work to make money. I, and I wanna say it again, I know that sounds crazy, but imagine you took time off and you still made money. That doesn't mean you don't have a business to grow, you absolutely do. But I'm gonna teach you how to grow a business that makes money even when you're not there working. So click the link down below, get your free consultation with my team, and let's really discover where you're at and how you can create it. We'll see you there.